Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to install Stable Diffusion locally. I've been hearing a lot of people asking me about it and um, I was hesitant to do it because there's already so many tutorials out there about it, but I thought it'd be good to have it uh, a bunch of this information centralized on my channels so that if someone's looking at another tutorial, but they were trying to figure out, wait, how do I install local? They can still find that video on my channel if they are already on there. And uh, I want to follow the steps from How to Geek and I wanted to get the information outside of YouTube so that uh, no one feels like I am just stealing their steps and then use it in my videos. Uh, this is from somewhere outside that I am now uh, bringing that information to YouTube, specifically to my channel. So so before we get started, let's just make sure we have everything we need to install Stable Diffusion on our PC. And uh, here's a list, uh, a minimum of 10 gigabytes free on your hard drive. Uh, an NVIDIA GPU with six gigabytes of RAM, though you might be able to make four gigabytes work, it says. A PC running Windows 11, Windows 10, Windows, uh, I don't even know, people are still using Windows 8. Um, yeah, so those are the requirements. I also wanna let you know that uh, everything that we're gonna be downloading for the installation uh, should be down in the description. It should be in the order that you should download them in. So just follow along and hopefully uh, you won't have any issues. So the first thing we're gonna download is uh, Python. And uh, if you click on the the link that's in my description, you should go to this page and then come all the way down to where it says window installer. You double click on that, you download Python. And uh, once you come to this window, when you're ready to install, uh, make sure that you click on add Python 3.10 to path. This is super important. You gotta make sure you do this. So you click on there, then you press install. By the way, I uninstalled everything so that we can go through this together. And if uh, I bump into any errors, then we can figure it out together. So hopefully there is no um, things, no issues that we bump into. All right, so once that's done, you wanna go to the second link where you will download uh, Git right here. And you wanna download 64-bit for Windows setup. So that's downloading. So we open that one up. Go to next, save it, uh, it already exists, I guess. Click on all of these, Damn. yeah. Uh, once you get here, you wanna come down to where it says, uh, use notepad as Git's default editor. Click on that and then press next, just next on everything else. So let that install. The next link is gonna lead you to this page right here. And from here, you're gonna to go to where it says code and download zip. So you wanna get a folder where you can save that file. So you bring that file into whatever folder you wanna save everything to, create a folder to call it whatever you want. I just call it SD UI. And then bring it into that folder, extract it. I don't know why it creates two folders. It should just be one. All right, and then you wanna to go to the next link. Here you will be downloading the SD uh, CKPT file. Um, as soon as you download that, I already have it downloaded somewhere. You will come into this folder, the, your main master folder, and you go into here, you go into models, you go to stable diffusion, and then you even have a little message that's welcoming you. It says, put stable diffusion checkpoints here. All right, so copy, paste it. And then you will change the name to model dot CKPT. Then you go to the next link and you're gonna come down, download this, uh, go to this link right here uh, where it says V 1.4 model and then you download that. So you wanna copy that and you wanna come back here. You wanna put it in the main, in the master folder and just paste it there. And there it is. Uh, you won't make any changes to this. So 
As soon as that's done, you should be able to come down here where it says web UI user.bat. Double click on that. So at this point, it's installing some stuff. And so just be patient. It might take a while. All right. So once everything's downloaded, this is where all the fun starts. So you, once everything's done, you come here to where it says running on local URL. You copy this URL right here. You open your browser and you paste it. Boom. Check it out. And then you can start messing around. And so that's how you install Stable Diffusion. Um, I do notice that it's a different uh, UI. It has uh, different things that the other one didn't have. And I'm hearing that it doesn't work exactly the same. So I will definitely um, dive into this and try to learn it. and. Uh, and give you guys an update on how to work with it better. Um, yeah, because according to uh, some people, it doesn't work the same way as it used to. So um, I have to just figure out how different it is. And then if it is very, very different, then I would have to make an updated video on how to make uh, um, consistent animations and stuff like that. So, all right, guys. Hopefully you guys uh, were able to install this and I thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah, take care. God bless.